In today's video, I'm going to show you on Fidelity Investments how to buy any stock that you want, whether it's a weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly basis. So stick with me. I'll show you from start to finish how to add stocks and add any amount that you want to buy straight from your bank account each week. So in order to do this, you have to have a Fidelity login. Once you do, go on the search bar and type in automatic and then hit enter. Once this loads, you will see an option that says your scheduled transfers. So you're going to scroll down and go to managed scheduled transfers. This screen will pop up and you will click create new activity. Once you click create new activity, go under investment and click this. Now, right here, you will have recurrent investment. The security type, if you want to do stocks like I just did, you will leave it on stock slash ETFs. I have other videos posted on mutual funds and Fidelity Basket portfolios, which I will post at the end of the video for you. But we're going to focus on stocks for now. Next, you're going to select your account and then you're going to start adding the symbols. But before we go into the symbols, you can go under frequency. So you can click frequency, weekly, every two weeks or monthly. For our purposes, we're going to put this on monthly. Next, you will select the date. I'm going to do the first of every single month. And normally the start date will be about a couple of days while you're doing this. I'm filming this video on May 9th. So it took one, two, three, four, five business days for it to take effect. And you can link the bank account by just by clicking this button. So if you already have a Fidelity account, you can link the bank account. And if you're asking which bank account is going to take from, it's the one that you set up for it. That's part of your settings. Next, click on your account and set your account. Now, let's start adding symbols. So type in Apple, and you will see that it starts to pop up here. But if you want to have more than just one stock bought, you just have to continue to add the stocks in, and it'll start to show just like this. So I added Apple and Tesla, and it's showing that I can do 10 stocks max. Next, I'll add just add, adding random ones just so you can see for the purpose of it. And we can add up to 10 stocks within. So we are going to put in 10 of them just for the learning purpose of this video. And once you have all of your stocks in, Once you have all of your stocks in, you can start to add the dollar amounts that you want. So once a month, I want to buy $5 of Apple, $5 of Tesla, maybe $7 of GE, $4 of AT&T, PLTR $3, $2, $1, $4, and this is just a exaggerated. Next, you will have to have your account listed. So let me go into that. After you hit preview, you will see your account number, the security type, stocks and ETFs, and then every single stock that you listed, whether it was Baba, Starbucks, Tesla, it shows the amount that you are going to buy on the frequency, which is a monthly basis. So every month, it's going to spend a total of $56 to buy all of these stocks. Now, a good question is, when does it buy it? So I messaged Fidelity Investments, and they buy at 10 a.m., 10 a.m. market hours, whatever day that you chose. So we chose the first of every month at 10 a.m. It will buy $56 worth, and it will buy fractional shares of each stock that you choose it to buy. All right, guys, if you like that Fidelity-based video, you can definitely check out my playlist that is dedicated just to Fidelity. It goes over the index funds, the ETFs. I also have how to reinvest dividends at Fidelity. I go over specific ETFs, index funds, how to automatic invest. And I'm going to post those two videos at the end of this just so you can quickly watch them as well. But definitely check out this playlist. It's fidelity related, anything related. It goes into this playlist. So check it out.